So we all met each other at various modules that we completed through the programme. There was us four plus two others that are in our live business project group. So what we then did was went off and found different options. So there was one at my business and various other ideas. And we pitched them to each other and then decided between ourselves which one we wanted to work on the most. And that's how we came up with the one that we worked on. So the topic that we chose was based at Lancashire Teaching Hospitals. It's based in our aseptic unit, which is a sterile manufacturing unit. So the project itself looked at how we could recommend strategies to make this unit more cost effective. We involved a lot of different people who worked in the unit, every grade um, who worked there through interviews, but also we did a lot of data work, um, looking at data within the unit, but also um, across the hospital in general. Working together as a team can always have challenges, but I think because we'd previously worked together in different groups across different modules, we knew how to engage with each other and develop each other's strengths. I think one of the key things to bear in mind was that not all of us were based in Manchester and we were based across the UK and even abroad at times. And so a lot of the project was done virtually. I think one of the most important things to bear in mind though was that the project that we chose to undertake wasn't necessarily a forte for any of us. We each have different specialities. And so it was about playing to each other's strengths and making sure we used those at different points throughout the project to get us across to the finish line. So I think in terms of the final presentation, I think that breaks down into three kind of pillars for me. So the first was to our tutor. So that gave us an opportunity to discuss kind of what our final ideas and final output was going to be. There was then the final report, and that was six weeks after that presentation with our tutor. So we had plenty of time to take additional comments on board and start crafting our final report and recommendations for the unit based on that. So then the third stage of the, the output of our live business project was then meeting with the Chief Pharmacist at Lancashire Teaching Hospitals to go through a condensed version of our final report, to chat through with him our recommendations and socialise those within the unit itself. There's also then the national review that's ongoing at the moment. So as part of that discussion with the Chief Pharmacist, we were able to discuss how that then correlates and aligns with the national review and how that could help kind of future implementation of some of our ideas from the project on a national scale.